Welcome, my name is Stefan Meyer. I'm a Ciprotec 5 product manager and responsible for the new feature PQ Basic, which is the integration of power quality functions. PQ Basic enables Ciprotec 5 users to get additional information. It measures and registers basics of power quality of their electric power systems. For utilities as well as for industries, PQ Basic is useful for many application domains who produce or are sensitive to power quality issues. Some examples. Circuit breaker operations within the grid or startup behavior of huge motors can lead to voltage dips. Feeding of renewable energies can lead to voltage swells and harmonics. Nonlinear loads and variable speed drives in industry could cause harmonic distortions. Unsymmetric loads within the three-phase system leads to voltage unbalances. So, more and more power quality problems lead to unexpected risks like falls, damages or production downtimes. Till today, Separate power quality devices are often installed additionally beside of protection devices. Why not combine both in only one device and system and get benefits out of it? This innovation is clear. Power quality plus protection and automation, that is CProtec 5 with PQ Basic. It offers you benefits like Get an overview and recognize trends of the PQ status of your system. You are getting warned at sensitive areas or critical infrastructures if some PQ values exceed a predefined threshold. Abnormal events can be locked. So, PQ Basic gives you a quick feedback in case of anomaly, you have concrete information of history of event and you need not to measure with a portable device at site after a claim. It helps you to optimize processes to avoid damages or extra costs. So stability creates reliability. All CProtec 5 devices can easily be upgraded without any hardware change. PQ Functions Overview It provides you voltage variation, what is dips, swells and interruption, and voltage unbalances. These functions comply to the standard for power quality measurement IEC 61000 4.30 class S and the total harmonic distortion, the THD. What is the sum of all measured harmonic related to the fundamental? And we have all values of any single harmonic up to the 20s and this for voltages and for currents as well. And we have the total demand distortion, the TDD, which is the sum of all measured current harmonics related to the maximum load current. These PQ functions are fully implemented in the communication, logging, HMI and usability of CProtec 5 and Dixie 5. It supports three phase power systems with phase selective evaluation. Values and locks are accessible via display of device or remote by Dixie or WebUI and can be used in CFC logic editor. 
values and pick up signals can be transferred by CProtect 5 supported protocols, typically via IEC 61850 for further processing or documentation. It can be recorded in fault records. Warning signals at predefined thresholds can be activated. Abnormal PQ event data can be routed in operational and user-defined logs. The logs data is saved on non-volatile memory in the CProtect 5 device and do not get lost even if the device powers off. Logs can be exported to external systems with Dixie 5. To summarize it, PQ Basic is a new opportunity which enables you to get additional information in a cost-effective, easy and fast way. This solution helps you to know more about the power quality related behavior of your system. Try to test it at the first device just by an easy firmware upgrade. So, let us now forward to the second part, which has the focus on parametrization examples and evaluation result reporting. Thank you. Hello together. My name is Markus Kraft. In 1991, I joined Siemens. For more than 10 years now, I'm working as promoter and technical consultant for the complete power quality portfolio. And furthermore, I'm conducting trainings in the Energy Automation Power Academy. On this slide, you can see the agenda of the practically oriented session for Power Quality Basic. In the beginning, I would like to introduce you into the six key features of PQ Basic. I will explain the prerequisites to equip a Cybric 5 protection relay with that new functionality. After that, you will get an overview of the parameterization example for an event of type voltage dip. In part three, I will explain the various ways to communicate PQ basic evaluation results to clients. Such a client could be the IC61850 protocol, the user logs, or Ford records in Comtrade format. All right, let's get started. The six key features of PQ basic. The function PQ Basic will generate warnings when parameterized thresholds are exceeded. Side by side with the warning, additional information will be indicated. For example, the affected phases or the duration of an event, how long has a voltage dip taken, or the residual voltage means the lowest value during a voltage dip. Let us now take a look into the phenomena and events which coming under consideration for PQ Basic. Classified events can be indicated as a warning like voltage swells, dips and interruptions. Furthermore, observation intervals provided for the total harmonic distortion called THD, the total demand distortion TDD, the ratio of the harmonic content expressed as a percent of the maximum demand current. And last but not least, the voltage unbalance. Function point selecting on using Cybrick Configurator. To monitor and indicate warnings for unbalanced, request 20 function points. All the events will be classified with 30 function points, and for the activation of the total demand distortion, a set of 10 function points need to be available in the device. To enhance your Dixie project by all PQ basic functionalities, it requires in sum 60 function points because the THD listed on the top is already on board. Select PQ Basic function groups from Dixie 5 library. The Dixie 5 library provides inside the measurement function group all the function related to power quality basic. You have to drag and drop the functions into your device. Power Quality Basic is available for all Cybrick 5 protection relays with firmware 8.40 onwards. The new Cybrick 5 compact device can be equipped with PQ Basic as well. 
In the Fordway Corda 7K85 is BQ Basic not implemented because this device covers several measurement functionalities already. Voltage variation. Let us now take a look on the parameterization for voltage variations. The default configuration of thresholds and dropout differentials is already conformed to event classification standards. The information routing matrix. Let us do information routing for voltage variations. The event indication and relevant evaluation results like phase related duration and extreme value can be easily routed into logs using the information routing matrix. Result reporting. How does a result reporting for a voltage variation looks like? After finishing the parameterization, I'm using the digital twin to visualize all the evaluation results. An example is shown on the next slide. Let us now take together a look into the user log. The event of type voltage dip starts with the indication warning in the bottom line. When we move upwards, we can see all the event relevant data. For example, the residual voltage of phase B or the overall voltage dip duration. After that, the event ends with a warning of message and finishes with an increment of the dip counter. Complete triggered records by CFC. I will show you an example to trigger the forward recorder. The CFC example. Here you can see a continuous function chart example, where I have assigned all kind of warning indications provided by BQ Basic to the inputs of an OR logic block. The output signal on the right side forces an external start to the Ford recorder. The result is a Ford record in complete format who provides a graphical instance of the detected event. The Ford record shows the RMS signals and the warning signal as a binary track at the bottom. The blue cursor in the middle measures an extreme value of 179.98 kV. This value is exactly 77.93% of the normal voltage of 230 kV. The yellow cursor on the right shows us that the voltage dip had a duration of 1.079 seconds. Boost values. The extreme value in percent as well the duration will be provided in the IEC 61850 protocol. Results reporting notification channels. Before we come to the last page, I would like to show you the ways to communicate BQ Basic evaluation results on one slide. Detail information about an event can be listed in user logs. A graphical output is possible when warnings triggering the inbuilt Ford recorder of the protection relay. The IEC 61850 protocol also covers event and evaluation relevant information. On mapping the IEC 61850 single point indications through a CCAM PAS or CCAM PQS substation automation system, the event metadata can be displayed in CCAM PQ analyzer as well. Summary. Let me now recap the key benefits of the PQ basic application. Already existing protection relays in the field can be easily equipped with power quality evaluation mechanism without touching the hardware. Upper and lower limits, so-called thresholds, can be configured conform to the customer needs. Evaluation takes place for events like voltage swells, voltage dips and voltage interruption. Furthermore, the total harmonic distortion, the total demand distortion and the unbalanced will be monitored. Indications or let me be more precise, warnings can be routed in the information routing matrix to user logs. The IEC 61850 protocol can transport warnings and, for example, extreme values forward to SCADA systems or via CCAM PQS into the CCAM PQ analyzer. A warning can initiate a comrade record to provide a graphical interpretation of the event. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.